Hey gardeners, welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I actually received an enclosure from Zen Habitats to set up for my Indonesian Blue Tongue Skink Chancho. So I did receive this enclosure for free for my honest review in this video. I do have another Zen Habitats enclosure and there are differences between the two. So I'm gonna go over all of my concerns and things that I like and just give you guys my honest review of both of the enclosures and show you guys the setup of my Blue Tongue Skinks enclosure. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with that and show you guys how I built Chancho's enclosure. So both of these enclosures are both by Zen Habitats. The one on the bottom is currently for my boa constrictor. This is a 4x2x2 four by two by two, and then the one on top is a 4x2x1 four by by so it's just not as tall um, but it has pretty much the same exact floor space. Um, so the difference between the two is the one on the bottom was their original brand which is made out of wood and it's not very good for humidity. So the new one that I'm trying out up here, it looks very, very similar, but it's actually made from PVC. So it's going to lock in a lot more humidity, which is going to be perfect for my Indonesian blue tongue skink because they require that high humidity. So right now everything is built. I just need to go through Chancho's old enclosure, which is over here. And I need to find him and get him out and move him into his new enclosure and set everything up. Yes, hello Chacho. So I'm a little nervous because my guy is not good with handling and I haven't handled him in like a few months. So I have my handy gloves over here in case I get bit and I'm gonna transfer him over here and start setting everything up in this new enclosure. So let's get to it. So I just had to wake Chancho up and he's so unhappy right now and just picking him up is like such a crazy difference. He's grown so much from the last time that I held him. So it was a lot to deal with. But now you guys can see his old enclosure. I did take some cork bark out. Um, so I'm going to transfer all of this into the new enclosure. And I'm going to have to get him a new water bowl soon because that one just keeps getting algae on it and it's driving me nuts. So maybe I'll transfer him out and get him one of those uh, plastic containers. We'll see. I don't know if I'll be able to access that. I'll try and figure something out. So I'm going to start putting the substrate and everything into the new enclosure. One other thing that's new about this enclosure, these are the doors right here, it's kind of hard to see, but there is a lip right here. So this is going to help keep the substrate in the enclosure. This is something I don't have for my boa constrictor or for my Brazilian rainbow boa. And well, there is a little lip actually for this one, so it's not as bad. But like this one is pretty messy and I try to like keep not that much substrate in there because whenever you open the doors, like as you can see, there's substrate coming out. So this is gonna be really nice and it's so important to make sure that the Indonesian Blue Tongue Skink has that good layer of substrate that's gonna be nice and thick for him to burrow because that's what he loves doing. So let's get going. So this is all of the old substrate that I just took out of the tank. So I have this bag of other substrate and I'm actually using um, forest floor right here. I'm just soaking it up in water because I'm going to add this too because I really want this layer to be thick. This goes up really far and I want him to be able to burrow properly. So I'm just going to add a ton of substrate into this. Progress has been made. I added a ton of substrate and a ton of forest floors, so he's definitely going to have a lot of burrowing opportunity. Um, and then I added a large water bowl in the back. It is very, very high. It's going to help keep the humidity up. He can go in there and soak if he wants to when he's shutting or just drink some water. So I just have to add in some decorations and then add in a chancho and this should be complete. And the enclosure is fully set up and ready. There is a lot of cork bark. It's the same cork bark I was using before. It's kind of hard to see because it blends in so well with like the substrate, but he loves burrowing under them and it just gives more enrichment, different feels and sensations. He has some fake leaves. He has this like tree thing with other leaves in the back over here. Um, I do have to add his hydrometer, which I think I'm going to put right back there. And then we have to add Chancho to this enclosure and see how he likes it. So now it's time to add Chancho to his enclosure. He's not happy at all, but he will be happy in his new setup, I hope. And he just wants to hide. 
so yeah he has a lot more space when I was building it at first it didn't seem like it would be that much more space than his other enclosure I'm not sure what size this is but it was pretty spacious and it worked out for him as a baby and gave him a lot of space but he's definitely way bigger now so and he's growing he's a growing boy so he needs his space so I think he's gonna like it in here um, I really think this is going to hold up the humidity well with the PVC, which I'm really excited about. And I really like that it came with um, this ledge up here. It's kind of hard to see. But this up here, it's like another little plexiglass. And that actually helps to hold in the humidity. And there's a little space up here for the lights, which is really nice. So that way the rest of it is just not going to be full on uh, ventilation and airing out the enclosure. So it's going to keep in that humidity for him. So yeah, he's just tasting the wall. Hopefully it tastes good. Hopefully you're happy. Did all of this for you. So overall, I really love the way that Chancho's enclosure has turned out. It's definitely way more spacious for him. He seems to be appreciating the space. He is wandering all over the place. He's tasting everything. He has a lot of opportunities for burrowing and hiding. And he's been in it for about a day now. And I've noticed a complete increase in the overall humidity of the enclosure, which makes me so happy because Indonesian blue tongue skinks really need that high humidity. And the PVC, you can tell, is really locking in that humidity. And also the little sheet of the plexiglass that goes on top of the screen, I love that it fits over the entire screen and leaves enough space for the lighting components as well that you're going to be placing on top. So it just completely locks in that humidity. It's totally well thought out and I really love how this is working out. Another thing that I really love about this enclosure is the extra piece of plexiglass along the front to keep all of the substrate from falling out of the enclosure. This is something that I've never had in any of my other enclosures before and it was very necessary for this enclosure because he needs a really thick area for substrate to be able to burrow in. So now I can just easily open and close the doors and not have to worry about dirt falling in my lap which is such a relief. I'm very happy about that. Um, I also just love the general appearance. It's very sleek, clean, beautiful. I just love the look of this enclosure. Um, I was a little concerned because I do have a Zen Habitats enclosure for my boa constrictor Vendetta. And honestly, I didn't think that this enclosure was very durable. Um, I was a little worried just because Vendetta is going to be obviously a full-grown boa constrictor in a few years. He is still a juvenile and I think that the enclosure is working great for him for now. But over time, I feel as though it's going to be easy for him to like put his face on the glass or like try to open a door or something. Or honestly, if he just like moved a certain way or something, I was worried this entire enclosure wouldn't hold up. So I do want to put him in a different type of enclosure in the future. Something else that I do want to mention is um, right over here. So this is actually a window lock that I'm using, if it would focus. Um, I use this to make sure that the door won't open because Vendetta, I was just so nervous that my boa constrictor would escape because they're obviously very muscular snakes. So this is something that I'm using to prevent the door from opening in case he were to try and like slide it open. So that's something I would recommend, but luckily because this enclosure right here actually has this extra sheet of plexiglass, this is not something I have to worry about at all with my blue tongue skink because he's not going to climb up here and be able to open this. Like there's no way. So it's just very secure. Um, something else that I was concerned about was that um, there was no lip or anything here when you're opening this. Like I would have liked if there was a little lip to make sure that the snake can't somehow push this open. But when, but when you have this extra plexiglass, that's not really something you need to worry about. And I feel like it overall just makes the enclosure more secure, which is something that I appreciate. Um, one other thing to keep an eye out for, which all of the enclosures have, um, is this piece right back there. Um, so I have one in this one too. Oh, that little wood chunk is blocking it. But if you have a snake, um, I would be a little concerned about it escaping because it's literally just rubber and they can squeeze their way right through that. 
So for Vendetta, I actually put tape over it to make sure that he can't escape out of that. My blue tongue skink is not going to be able to escape out of that whatsoever, so that's not something that I'm concerned about with a blue tongue skink in this enclosure. But again, if you're gonna be putting a ball python or something like that, or a corn snake, any type of snake, I would just be aware of that. Make sure your snake isn't going to escape. And again, here's the humidity gauge. It is holding up the humidity really well. I haven't even misted this enclosure down yet and it's already still locking in that humidity thanks to this plexiglass that is right up here. I love this thing. It's like the perfect size. Um, excuse this. This is just my little rainbow things I put in the windows. So there's enough room for the lights over here and then it just completely locks in all of that humidity throughout the rest of the enclosure. So I just, I love how this turned out. I love the look. I'm not sure where Chancho is right now. He's been basking so much lately and coming out and he just seems really comfortable in here. But he just went away somewhere to go hide because I made him nervous. But yeah, so I just love how this turned out. Very, very happy with this. I think this would be great for so many different types of snakes. I would love to see a ball python in an enclosure like this because I know people say they don't need a lot of space. They utilize the space, I promise you. So that's something you should try out. And then down here is just Vendetta's enclosure. So again, I love this enclosure for a juvenile boa constrictor, but when Vendetta gets bigger, I'm gonna wanna get something that's a little bit thicker. Um, and more solid, just more durable, something that the doors absolutely cannot open because I have another enclosure over here. This one also has a window lock. This one is actually really hard to open. It's glass, it's very, very, very heavy. So like this is something that like my snake cannot open on its own. So that's something that I want for Vendetta in the future, but like a heavy bodied snake for a Zen Habitats, I just don't think is the best option. But ball pythons, corn snakes, bearded dragons, blue tongue skinks, all of those animals would be ideal in these types of enclosures. Just keep in mind the humidity requirement of whatever you're getting. If you're getting something with the high humidity, I absolutely recommend the PVC Zen Habitats enclosure. And then if you're getting a dry species, definitely get the wood enclosure because it is perfect for them. So yeah, thank you guys so much for sending me this enclosure. I'm so, so, so happy with it. I really appreciate you guys. I think that Zen Habitats enclosures are durable and are stable, but for smaller animals, not for something like a tegu or a boa constrictor, anything that's really strong and muscular, I think that they need something a little bit more durable. Um, but for a juvenile boa constrictor, it's working out just fine. And obviously for a blue tongue skink, I think this enclosure is perfect. So that's something that I would mention. So the original Zen Habitat enclosure that I have or Vendetta is actually made out of wood. So this is something to be careful about. This was one of my concerns because wood isn't very good for keeping in humidity over time. That's gonna break down and it's not gonna last as long. So that's why this new line that Zen Habitats has come out with with the PVC is just so great. Um, I was honestly very worried when I got it because it looks so similar. It has the bamboo print the same as the wood enclosures, but it is actually PVC. It's not wood, even though it looks like wood. So that's something to just keep an eye out for if you're concerned because it's definitely holding in that humidity and acting as if it's PVC rather than wood. So if you have a wood enclosure, that's great for a dry animal. Um, but again, if you want something with high humidity, you should definitely check out their new PVC enclosures because it is really doing a great job at locking in that humidity and it's going to last way longer as well. I would recommend this enclosure for anything that requires a high humidity. Ball pythons I think would actually be perfect in this type of enclosure along with the Indonesian blue tongue skinks because they do require that high humidity level. I think the wood would be great for blue tongues that don't require the high humidity like the northerns or bearded dragons. So again, it just depends on what you're shopping for, but I highly recommend this company. I think you guys should go and check them out. Again, they're called Zen Habitats. So I'm overall very happy with this enclosure, like very, very happy. Thank you guys so much for sending this to me. My blue tongue skink seems very happy in this enclosure, so that makes me very happy. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.